This is the craziest stat that I've come across while doing Recovery Elevator for the past eight years, right? It's not the amount of people that alcohol kills each year, which is more than all of the other drugs combined. It's not the amount that big alcohol spends, advertising, revenue. It's not the fact that 40 to 70% of hospital beds have underpinnings to alcohol. It's the stat, the tax burden that each person has to share per drink in the United States of America. Okay, the CDC has this broken down by state, and I'm gonna cover Montana right now, because that's where I'm at. So the CDC estimates that there are 15,254 years of life lost each year or productivity lost in the state of Montana alone. In California, this is upwards of 300,000 years lost of productivity or life in a year in California. Okay, now here's the stat that just blew my mind. The CDC estimates, and they broke this down by state, the tax burden on each individual per drink consumed is $2.54. Now, I averaged out 25 states to give us a rough estimate of what that is, and it's $2.66 per drink consumed in the United States of America. Let me try to put this a different way. The tax burden across America per every drink consumed right? So somebody orders a drink, that's going to cost America $2.66 per drink. Okay, let's unpack this a little bit. In 2012, the British researcher Dr. David Nutt was tasked by the British government to put a harm score on 20 of the world's most dangerous drugs. Guess what came in number one? It wasn't crack, cocaine, meth, or heroin. It was alcohol. Yes, it has devastating effects in the short term. If you drink enough, you're going to die. But when you take into account the economic devastation, productivity hours lost, the, the years of your life lost, this is where the true devastation comes in. Again, the tax burden per drink that we all have to shoulder in this country is $2.66 per drink. So it's hard to get behind the mic and not direct my energies at big alcohol. I know their advertising budgets. I see the profits. In fact, we're around 65 trillion of the world's GDP, roughly four to five trillion of that is alcohol, right? This is a massive beast and they're not shouldering their part of the burden. Number one, I've done an episode or had a message about pick up your trash, big alcohol. I am sick of riding my bicycle on the roads and seeing a disproportionate amount of your cans, bottles, et cetera, on the side of the roads. But number two, this is the devastation your product is causing on our citizens. So, all right. Recovery Elevator, I love you guys. 